All right, so for the motor schedule, because it is part of your check assignment, um, you can once you get to this point, you can follow the instructions. Um, it fairly straightforward. The only thing that may, may not be straightforward that you may not be familiar with is this OLS overload size. So we're going to check the value of our cal calculate the value of the amps that the conductors need to be sized to. So remember that step where we did the uh, full load amps multiplied by 125 percent, and we came out with an amperage that we were gonna, then going to look for. Um, in the uh, ampacity of the conductor. That's the value that you want to place in here. So you're going to have your horsepower, your description, so air compressor number one, horsepower, I believe that was three or five, can, and three. Your full load amps, that's going to be using the value that you calculate from table number, uh, so table number six, or table, yeah, full load amps that you obtained from table 44, that's what it is. And then your overload size is going to be that value that you take for your full load amps that you multiply by 1.25 or 125%. That's what you put in here. It's a three-phase 208 volt motor, so you just enter those numbers. Where it says fuse or circuit breaker, that's we're using circuit breakers. So this is going to be the size of the circuit breaker. Okay, not the calculated value, but the actual size of the breaker that you're going to use. So if you determine that you need a 15 amp breaker, you're going to place 15A in that location. The location where these motors are, they're all in room 14, so you can put room 14 in all three locations. Uh, the conductors, we have three conductors for a three-phase motor. Because it is a balanced load, it does not require a neutral. Therefore, you only need three conductors. And this is going to be the size of those conductors. So this is going to be the American wire gauge size that you determine. So if you determine from the over OLS value that you've got, um, I don't know, 30.5 amps, you're going to uh, look in table number two, and you're going to find a American wire gauge size that will allow you to run 30.5 amps safely. And so I'm just looking on my tape, my list here. I see number eight. So this is going to be number eight. It's not necessarily going to be that. You use the numbers from your calculations, from your check assignment, and use the mm -hmm. conduit size from your check assignment as well. So if you if you determine that you can fit that in a 16 millimeter conduit, you're going to put 16 mm in that conduit in that uh, location there. So again, once you finish your check assignment and submit your check assignment, I'll be you know, checking it and making sure you're on the right track, and then you can fill out the motor schedule accordingly.